Sometimes they want us to identify different types of polynomials. Poly refers to many and nomial refers to numbers and number types, specifically expressions. Everything you see here is an expression because they're terms without equal sign. A term is like a packet of information, a single packet contained that's connected usually by multiplication or division. So here, monomials are a first group. Mon means one. So each of these monomials have one term. The numbers 5 and negative 3 are examples of monomials. 4x is also a monomial. Yes, there are two different types of symbols, but they're multiplied by each other, which means that they're one term. 4xy, even though there are three symbols, a 4, an x, and a y, because they're connected by multiplication, it's one term. Remember, numbers next to letters just means to multiply. Binomials, bi means two. Each of these terms have two terms. And you can tell usually that it's going to be a binomial if you see two terms separated by addition or subtraction. So here's one term, a 6x plus a 3. You can't combine them. You can't go any further. Remember, 6x can be combined with something else like 5x or 4x or 3x, but not just the number 3. That won't help us. In this case right here, we have negative 6xy. That's one term minus another. So look for that negative subtraction sign or positive sign to separate two types of terms. 7xy plus z. z is one term, 7xy is the other. This is a binomial. Here's another example, negative 12x minus 3y, another type of binomial. Trinomials, tri means three. So each of these terms, notice now we have two addition signs. It could be subtraction as well, because they're separating one, two, three terms. This trinomial has one, two, three terms, and this one also has one, two, three terms. When can they get tricky? If I wrote five plus three, this is still a monomial. It looks like a binomial at first, but remember, if you can reduce or simplify, then you should do that. Five plus three is eight. So this is in fact a monomial, it's eight. So if we had two x plus 5, this is a binomial because we can't combine these two terms. Why can't we? Well, if you have two x's, how can you add them to 5? What would that be? 7 x's? But we don't know what x is. For example, let's say you had two $100 bills and then you had $5 in your pocket. 2 times 100 is 200 plus 5 is 205. Oh, so you have $205. But if we can try to combine this somehow, 2 times 100 plus 5, well, if 2x plus 5 was 7x, which it's not, this would also be 7x or 7 one hundredths, which would be 700. But you don't have $700 if you have 5 in your pocket and 2 one hundredths in your wallet. So that doesn't make sense. You can't combine single numbers with terms like this. So this is a binomial. Here's another example of a tricky one. If you have 2x plus 3x, again, at first it looks like one, two terms, but 2x plus 3x is just 5x. So this is a monomial. And I guess we could get trickier. We could do stuff like 3x plus 5 plus 6x. What is this? This is a binomial because 6x and 3x combine to 9x and the plus 5 where we can't combine it, it's a binomial. So when you're looking at these terms, you should ask yourself, can I combine any of the terms? And then do that. And then evaluate it. Is it a monomial, a binomial, or a trinomial? So let's write that down. So first, simplify. or evaluate the expression. The words simplify and evaluate essentially mean to try and solve it as much as you can. Solve it as far as you can go.
And then, number two, figure out what type of polynomial we have. We're not going to go through all the names. But for example, if you found four terms, you might say this is a polynomial with four terms or five terms. Um, so some things to look out for. No polynomial, polynomial has an exponent, a negative exponent. Negative or fraction exponent also no polynomial oh wait, no poly has a variable in the sorry denominator if you see something like 3x plus 2y so far a binomial you can't combine x's and y's in other words, you can never combine, they call it unlike terms, plus 3x to the negative 1. This is not a polynomial because the exponent's negative. If you saw 3x to the 1 half plus 4y, this is not a polynomial because the exponent is 1 half. Now, what you might not realize is that the 1 half exponent is a shortcut for the square root symbol. So if you also see 3 and then the variables like, like this plus 4y, this is not a polynomial. This also is not a polynomial, right? Because this sign, the square root sign, is another way of writing 1 half for an exponent. And we can't have exponents with 1 half. As a last review before we go, take a look at this right here. 4xy plus 3x plus 2xyz plus 2xy. So the first thing we do, want to do is simplify. Look for like terms. Well, here's one term. All the terms are separated by the plus signs. So here's the other, here's the other, here's the other. The outer two are like because they both have the same variable letter combinations. So that's just 4xy's plus 6xy's is, excuse me, 4xy's plus 2xy's is 6xy's plus 3x, plus 2xyz. This is a trinomial. It has one, two, three terms. We can't combine this with any of these because the terms are not alike. Also be careful. Let's say you have 4xy plus 2yx. This is 6xy. Now, the reason is because even though these two letters are in different order here, remember that any number like a times b equals b times a. This is the commutative property of multiplication. And it pops up all the time. So when you're multiplying, the order doesn't matter. As long as you have the same letters, you can combine them.